This is Palantir on the monthly chart. And the monthly bias level at $14 held quite nicely. It was formed from this rally in price, base and candle, then a rally higher, in which the rally higher came into resistance, which was support at the $20, $20 level. We pulled back roughly 40%, and now we're off to the races once again. Why? Well, we had a gap higher in price on Thursday. Why? Well, Palantir announced their earnings. So let's get into the results. So shares of the AI and big data software platform Palantir rose this week, appreciating roughly 25%. Company reported earnings on Thursday, which beat expectations, while the company's guidance also outperformed expectations as well. Palantir was founded as a counterterrorism technology platform that still gets a majority of revenue from government and military contracts. Investors may be anticipating more demand following the tragic recent events in the Middle East last month. So, in the third quarter, Palantir grew revenue 70% year over year with gap net profits of three cents per share both figures beat wall street expectations the quarter marked the fourth straight quarter of gap net income which management was quick to highlight of course the company's huge cash hoard of nearly 3.3 billion has enabled the software giant to earn a huge amount of interest income on that cash so in a letter to shareholders, CEO also noted that the four quarters of profitability makes Palantir eligible to be included in the 500, S&P 500 index. This is really huge. This is really huge. So the CEO also went on to tout the reacceleration of the company's U.S. commercial business, which generated $133 million in the quarter and grew 33%. The CEO sees U.S. commercial companies as a big opportunity, especially in adopting Palantir's new AI platform released nine months ago, and which combines Palantir's governments, governance and security software with new large language model capabilities that have been unveiled over the past year by companies such as OpenAI and others. And let's talk about valuation. Palantir stock garners strong feelings among investors on both the bullish and bear side. After its earnings release, the stock now trades at 18 times sales, which is very high for a company only growing 17%. So Palantir has definitely impressed this year, especially from a profitability and efficiency perspective, but it appears to be getting fair credit from the market on that front as well. It's neither a bargain buy nor a strong sell. Now, what do the charts say? It was a buy at this $14 monthly buyers level. Not once, not twice, not a third time, fourth time. You had four opportunities to get in and to take it to the $20 level, which served as resistance in the past. And that would have been good for roughly 50% increase. Let's pull out to the weekly chart. And as you can see, again, this is the $20 level, right? Big resistance, support. I think price moves higher, another dollar or two before price at least bases. However, if Palantir continues to beat Wall Street expectations in the subsequent quarters, look for price to eventually make a move higher to retest that band before the next target hitting at $26. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Please like the video.